I have to say that plant medicine completely rehabilitated me from debilitating depression and it's changed my life for the better. I, I came home. I'm home. So um, I'm, I'm really... With all the talk about psychedelics and depression, ever wonder why you don't see more black faces talking about its miracle properties? Hey lovely, welcome back to another installation of the Trippy Drip Creator. It's your girl, Diamond Drip. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at probably the biggest reasons why the African American community isn't as gung-ho about the psychedelic mental health movement as their white counterparts. I'll be pulling clips from a Red Table Talk episode that I watched that led me to pursue my psychedelic clinical trial journey what measures are being taken to include the African-American uh, community in these studies? Such a great question. Uh, look, the psychedelic world in the United States has been very white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And indeed, in some of the studies, there have not been enough black subjects to draw conclusions. And we have to fix that. Mindset and setting, otherwise referred to as set and setting, are critical for a positive psychedelic experience. It's one of the reasons why people are encouraged to experience magic mushrooms under the care of someone with experience or at least a trusted friend. Another concern that arises for the black community is the potential for arrest. One of the therapists has said, you're going to have a more difficult time uh, treating black Americans because they're used to walking a tight line. If a white person uh, is confronted by the police and they're doing psychedelics, they get a talking to. Right. The black person gets locked up. up yeah. Mm -hmm. All that's got to change. When the drugs are approved by the FDA, there won't be that risk of arrest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the fact that the drugs are all illegal now, and given that the drug war is essentially aimed at the black community, right. that is another source of reluctance. So I think you're absolutely right, Bob. So how do we help psychedelics gain their legal status? To be listed as a Schedule One drug, a drug must have a high potential for abuse and be defined as a drug with no currently accepted medical use. As many people know, cannabis is still considered a Schedule One drug, even though thousands, if not millions, of people use it to relieve symptoms of chronic ailments annually. When it comes to psychedelics, I think proving that they don't have a potential for addiction will be attainable. We do, however, need more research in order to prove medical benefits. So please check out clinicaltrials.gov or take a look at maps.org, which is the multidisciplinary association for psychedelic studies to see how you can get involved. Alternatively, you can sign the petition in the description below to remove the medical criteria for drug classification. Lastly, I think another big reason why black people aren't hopping onto the psychedelic movement to help their depression is that black people don't see other black people microdosing or doing hero doses. I'm encouraged to see there's a lot of outreach now because there's racial trauma in this country, as we, yes. as we well know, and there's enormous potential here to treat it. We need also guides with black faces. We need yeah. people in the community administering yep. it. One of the reasons I found the trial that I did was because I watched this Red Table talk and checked out maps.org for programs that taught African-Americans how to hold space for others. The program was a bit expensive, so I enlisted in a trial that could give me a baseline to start being able to help others. I figured I would take the, I did it and came out on top, you can too, approach. That's all for this week, my lovelies. Until next time.